Once in a blue moon, an old-timer tech, forgotten amidst the glitz of newer gadgets, steps right into the limelight. Our planet's been crying out for a battery breakthrough, one that doesn't leave a scar on Mother Nature. While most folks are gazing ahead, there's this one rebel company glancing back into the annals of history. And guess what? They might have stumbled upon the holy grail of energy quests. But who's this maverick defying the status quo? And what's this ancient battery tech that's sending shockwaves through the EV scene? Stick around, folks, as we dive into how this 50-year-old tech just gave the electric vehicle industry a jolt. Sodium metal halide batteries have an interesting history that dates back to the mid-1970s. At that time, the design of these batteries showed great potential due to their energy density and cost effectiveness. This caught the attention of Mercedes-Benz, leading to significant investments in research and development. The automaker even conducted tests using these batteries and a few compact sedans, covering tens of thousands of miles per year. It was an exciting time for sodium metal halide batteries as they offered a promising alternative for energy storage. However, despite the initial interest and potential, the automotive industry was not fully committed to electric vehicles at the time. Meanwhile, the emergence of lithium-ion batteries captured the attention of the electronics industry. Extensive research and development efforts were put into lithium-ion batteries, leading to serious consideration by automakers for a new generation of electric vehicles. As a result, sodium metal halide batteries gradually faded into obscurity. Fast forward to more recent times, and we encounter Antonio Beckel, a recent graduate with a doctorate from Stanford. Beckel recognized the need for grid-scale storage solutions to support the rapid growth of wind and solar power in the past decade. He was particularly drawn to batteries that utilize sodium instead of lithium due to the significantly lower cost of sodium. This led him to focus on sodium metal halide batteries as a potential game changer in the energy storage industry. In 2021, Beckel made a significant breakthrough in the field of battery technology. He realized that with some adjustments, he could produce cells that were even more cost-effective than the current designs all while maintaining the essential chemistry's durability and energy density. Beckel began to ponder the limited growth of sodium metal halide batteries in the market. He was determined to understand why this promising technology had not gained widespread adoption. It was during this exploration that he stumbled upon Beta Research, a group based in the UK that had been involved in the development of this technology since the early 80s. To his surprise, they were still actively engaged in the field. However, Beckel soon discovered that Beta Research was facing financial challenges. Recognizing an opportunity for collaboration, he initiated discussions with the group. After much negotiation, Inlight Energy reached an agreement to acquire Beta Research's team, as well as their facilities and equipment. Following a successful round of fundraising, the fundraising efforts proved to be fruitful as Inlight Energy closed an impressive $8 million seed round. This achievement was made possible through the support of leading venture capital firms, such as At One Ventures, First Spark Ventures, Veo Ventures, Tech Energy Ventures, Climate Capital, Anglo American, and other key investors. The overwhelming success of the round served as a testament to the industry's confidence in Beckel's vision and the potential of his company. With the necessary resources secured, Inlight Energy was poised to make significant strides in advancing battery technology. The acquisition of Beta Research's expertise and assets bolstered the company's position, providing a strong foundation for future growth and innovation. Inlight is on a mission to revolutionize sodium metal halide batteries and bring them into the modern era. The startup's focus on iron has the potential to reshape the energy storage landscape offering a more cost-effective and efficient alternative to traditional lithium-ion batteries. The journey to this point has been a long and winding one. In the early 1980s, the Beta research team delved into the potential of using iron in batteries, only to pivot to nickel in a bid to attract interest from the automotive industry. While automakers did take notice, the commitment waned over time. One of the most compelling aspects of Inlight's vision is the potential cost savings. The startup believes that its batteries, when produced at gigafactory scale, 
could cost as little as $1.35 per kilowatt hour. This represents a significant reduction compared to current lithium-ion battery prices and is poised to remain competitive in the near future. While sodium metal halide batteries may not directly challenge lithium-ion batteries in the automotive sector, they offer a unique combination of benefits that make them an ideal choice for grid-scale energy storage. With high efficiency ranging from 80 to 90 percent and a long lifespan, these batteries present a compelling solution for large-scale energy storage needs. Admittedly, there are challenges to overcome. The requirement to maintain high temperatures for charging and discharging does impact efficiency. However, it's important to note that lithium-ion cells also have specific thermal requirements, necessitating heating or cooling depending on ambient temperatures. In regions where solar energy is dominant and temperatures are higher, sodium metal halide batteries may even have a comparative advantage. Another key factor driving the buzz around Inlight is the company's long track record in the industry. While the team at Inlight is constantly refining the chemistry behind their batteries, the fundamental principles have remained largely unchanged for decades. This stability and reliability have earned the trust of utilities, which are Inlight's target market. The safety and longevity of these batteries are highly valued by utilities, making them an attractive option for energy storage solutions. Adding to their credibility, the Beta research team has played a pivotal role in designing every sodium metal halide factory built over the last 40 years. This wealth of experience positions Inlight as a leader in the field and gives them a significant advantage when it comes to scaling up their operations. Inlight has set an ambitious goal to activate its first factory in early 2027. This timeline is notably short for a battery startup, but Inlight CEO Beckel and the rest of the team have demonstrated their willingness to explore unconventional routes to expedite their journey to market. Their ability to think outside the typical startup framework underscores their determination to make a meaningful impact in the industry. One of the key advantages of sodium metal halide batteries is their cost effectiveness. Sodium is abundantly available and significantly cheaper than lithium, making it an attractive choice for large-scale energy storage applications. The affordability has the potential to drive down the overall cost of energy storage, making renewable energy sources even more competitive in the global energy landscape. Furthermore, sodium metal halide batteries offer enhanced safety features compared to traditional lithium-ion batteries. In addition to their cost-effectiveness and safety benefits, sodium metal halide batteries also demonstrate impressive performance capabilities. Their energy density and cycle life make them well-suited for long-term energy storage applications, enabling efficient utilization of renewable energy resources. This can help address the intermittency challenges often associated with wind and solar power contributing to a more stable and reliable energy infrastructure. The resurgence of interest in sodium metal halide batteries is not limited to theoretical discussions or laboratory experiments. There are ongoing efforts to translate this potential into real-world applications. Research and development initiatives are focused on optimizing the design and performance of these batteries for grid-scale energy storage, with an emphasis on scalability and commercial viability. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comment section.